Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to an all new episode of Akash Talks. 100% raw, 100% pure and 100% from the heart. I am your host Akash and let's dive right into the subject of today's episode. A very very interesting one indeed, which is about the latest privacy policy update of the popular messaging app WhatsApp. If you don't already know WhatsApp has made some changes to its privacy policies and a lot of controversies have arisen and are going on around the same. So this episode will have my say on the same and I'm going to break it down into simple parts which will help you know about the whole situation and you're going to find out whether your privacy is at stake using WhatsApp. The idea of this episode is to keep it very less technical so that anyone listening to this will understand what exactly is going on without much technical detail so grab your cup of coffee or tea or whatever you want and let's start off without any further ado okay let's start off with the most looked after question around this controversy can i still use whatsapp after all the privacy policy changes the answer to that question can be answered in two ways if you're using whatsapp just for chatting or texting you have nothing to be worried about because as of now the chats on whatsapp are still end to end encrypted did that sound a bit too techy let me break it down end to end encryption in layman's terms is that the messages that the sender and receiver exchange can only be read or listened on their devices and nowhere else not even whatsapp or the government can do anything to access it that is it is not stored on their servers yes there are instances when messages do get stored on their servers for various reasons such as when messages are not delivered or when the media is being delivered etc but when they do get stored on their servers they get stored in a different format that is not accessible so to put it all together privacy is ensured while you're texting on whatsapp that was end to end encryption so the next time when you see a statement in a chat on whatsapp saying messages on this chat are end to end encrypted you know what it means moving on let's talk about the information that is collected by whatsapp you will be shocked following are the information that is collected by whatsapp your mobile number the contacts stored on your device your device information that is the information of your mobile its model the make the battery level signal strength your ip address operating system etc 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 it even collects your device location as well shocked already don't be because i've not yet revealed why you should be bothered well the bothering issue here is whatsapp will share the collected data with its other companies yep that's the bothering issue what's to be bothered about you ask well that info is shared with social media giant facebook and other of its companies a company that has a very bad reputation for safeguarding its users privacy follow back question would be why is whatsapp sharing this collected data with facebook might be a funny question for many but if you don't already know facebook purchased whatsapp back in 2016 for a whopping 19 billion dollars why do you think facebook bought it for such huge amounts of money that too for a free messenger application it was an investment and when you make an investment what do you expect returns returns and returns how is the question one word answer to that question is boom advertising or ads that was the drum roll <laughs> it all loops back to your data facebook is known for ads boy oh boy so many freaking ads nowadays though it's become very difficult wherever you go there are ads 
I know WhatsApp is not yet yet showing any ads, but the route that it is taking makes me want to say that it might soon launch advertisements. Come on, guys! It has over two billion active users, and by launching ads, they're gonna gain huge amounts of money, returns on investment. Remember? <laughs> well, that was a bit too deep. Well, even after listening to all this, you might have a question: Should I stop using WhatsApp over privacy concerns? Answer is simple: No and no. If you're using WhatsApp just for chatting, your messages are safe as of now, at least. So why are so many people switching to a different service? You ask because a lot of people are switching from WhatsApp. You know, a lot of people are switching to Telegram, others, and whatnot. So why is that? You ask. Well, what I feel is people are just concerned because not many people. no or have the time to read all the new privacy policy changes and stuff you know and when such concerning policies are changed it will make you think twice before you use anything especially for the fact that whatsapp is owned by facebook so when you're using something you don't have to think twice before using it this is the reason why many people are switching to new service or are looking for a better service compared to whatsapp final question what is the best alternative for whatsapp if you are concerned regarding the privacy issues signal one simple term signal s i g n a l signal is the best alternative as of now that is when the podcast is being recorded it is very safe compared to all of its competitions and other apps in fact i feel it's the safest for the simple reason being it does not link your mobile number with anything not the media files you share not the files you share etc nothing which is like too damn good whatsapp and other apps link your mobile number with almost everything the files you share the media etc signal merely uses your phone number to authenticate via an otp and that's it which makes signal the best alternative for whatsapp WhatsApp links your mobile number with everything. It it like forms a graph of you sharing film files, etc. It might save it for later use, but that's a concerning issue. A lot of people are switching to Telegram. If you don't know, Telegram is like a messenger app, just like WhatsApp. First and foremost, guys, please don't. According to me, again, this is just my view. Telegram is a very very bad app compared to WhatsApp. Messages are not encrypted by default on Telegram. Yes, you can turn on encryption, but it is not encrypted by default until and unless you turn on that feature. And the public groups feature that is present on Telegram, it's a very debatable feature. A lot of illegal activities go around in those public groups. You know what I mean. Well, if you don't already know, Telegram has an option of public groups meaning anyone can join with a link to that group which is a very concerning feature at least for me because a lot of illegal activities go go around in those groups you can download pirated movies series etc which again is a very concerning issue because if that is caught your security is at stake because you are also a member of that group and your ip address is openly visible so please don't that is a very concerning feature so please don't plus telegram is not very user friendly as well at least according to me so that comes back to the same question signal is the best alternative out there so coming back to point 1 if you use whatsapp just for chatting and nothing else you don't use the status feature etc you have nothing to be worried about at least as of now If you are still concerned after listening to this about all the controversies, Signal is the best alternative for WhatsApp. Well, one thing to note is that the switch is very very difficult. Why? Because WhatsApp has over two billion active users, 
again not everyone know about all these privacy policy changes and a lot of other stuff so it becomes very difficult for all the people again to switch to one common service that is where all this drama arises so that is going to soon change because a lot of people will realize that privacy is at stake at least at some level and when you don't want that to happen people will start searching for better alternative and when they find the best one they're going to switch to that and according to me the best one available right now is signal so please spread the news let's not have our privacy at stake again if you're using whatsapp just for chatting you have nothing to be worried about so with that said it's time to wrap this episode up hope you gained some information from what you listened do share and subscribe if you're listening to this on apple podcasts please do rate and write a review it will just help others find the show easily until next time stay safe have fun cheers